Hi, my name is Ethan Rido, and I'm an engineer here at Desktop Metal. Today, we're going to be taking a detailed look at the inner workings of Fabricate. In our previous video, we did a high-level overview of the entire system. So if you're not familiar with the studio system, I encourage you to go back and check out that video first. Fabricate is a truly amazing piece of software that's the brains of the entire studio system. It makes going from a digital model to a final centered part extremely easy. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that on this gear right here. Let's go ahead and jump into Fabricate. So I'll start with an STL file that I've exported from my CAD system. I should note that Fabricate accepts a wide variety of native CAD formats. Now you can either simply drag and drop your file right onto this plus sign, or you can click on that plus sign, which will open up another window to where you can select the part. Okay, once my part has been loaded into the software, you'll see it brings us to this screen. This is gonna show us how our part can be oriented on the build plate inside of the printer. Now it's important to note here that it's not always gonna be in the optimal position for successful part creation. So what we've done is include controls for you to change the orientation in which your part is printed. I can optimize for total fabrication time or for surface quality. I can even optimize for centering stability. In addition to these presets, I also have the ability to manually control the orientation of my part by simply clicking on the part, which will bring up these three spheres around my part. These represent the X, Y, and Z axis, and I can simply grab one of these lines and move them in the direction of my choosing, like so. You'll also notice that when I clicked on our part, it brought up this new dialog box to the right. This is gonna give us the option to auto-orient our part. Basically, what this does is say, hey Fabricate, what is the best way to orient this part to give me the highest success rate? And then the software will analyze that part for each of the three steps, printing, debinding, and sintering. It'll not only determine the most stable position, but also what orientation is going to give us the highest quality results. Now I want to change a few print settings. Fabricate has all of the print settings you are familiar with in traditional FFF printing, such as shell layers, infill settings, and of course, various support settings. The default print settings are great, but you may want to tweak them depending on your particular part. I want this gear that we are working with to be a bit stronger, so I'm going to select the dense print profile. This is going to print the part with both a thicker shell and a denser infill. Now, because of these new settings, the part may take a bit longer to print and debind than the default settings would have taken. But ultimately, I'm gonna end up with a stronger part. And that is something that is important to me for this particular application. For this gear, you can see that there are very few supports required due to its relatively flat geometry. But what about a more complex part, like this motor mount? This part would definitely require supports due to these overhangs. Without supports, gravity would take over and the part would collapse. It's important to note that Fabricate is going to analyze each individual part and generate a custom support structure for that part. These supports are very smart. They do much more than just ensure your part doesn't collapse. For example, strategic seaming. This ensures that your supports are always easily removed and you never have any mold locking occur. All right, now let's quickly jump back into Fabricate and get our part sent over to the printer. Okay, so we have our desired orientation and our part settings are right where we want them. So all we have to do now is come down here to the bottom right of our screen and click send to printer. And that's it, nice and easy. In our next video, we'll catch up with our gear over at the printer. So be sure to join me again where we're gonna learn a lot more about the printing process. In the meantime, be sure to head over to desktopmetal.com for more information.